fitting a sled to a spark, um, you can first see the go through underneath here, but you're gonna have an exposed nut. We just figured that out. So we're just gonna remove this bolt here with a T30 torque bolt. Take that out. Now all we gotta do is drill through an eight mil hole. And if you're worried about drilling this hole, this is actually on the exterior of the hull and there's an O-ring on the inside of where the two hulls and pieces meet so don't wig out about that they can um you've only got you got to go through like just 10 mil of plastic there the reason we're going to do it like this way is so the nut's going to be countersunk so if you ever slide along you're not going to nail your foot on there there we go if you have a look at that just a clean hole through, and that way the nut's going to be countersunk in there. Use two nuts, one on the underneath to lock it, and then one up the top, and then click your sled um, carabiner straight on. You see we've now got the uh, M8 eyelet bolts in here. Carabiner, double up the O-rings. Up the front, we've just got a... Um, quick grip. A quick grip. <laughs> Well, you just use a piece of rope up the front, but this hair's stopping it if it's tied tight there. It's going to stop it coming forward, doubling the O-rings to there. But this hair is going to save you from pulling the whole hull apart and then drilling in and sitting in new eyelets underneath the transom, which is a bit of a nightmare to do. This is a, a quick fix for that. If you guys need any of this gear for your ski, to put a sled on for your little sparks, hit us up. Pew.